Yo everyone, Skeptic here. Today, I wanted to do a short little video on Fangs, since at the time of this recording, November 29th, 2022, Fangs is about to go to early access tomorrow, and I really wanted to highlight the importance of making a good first impression. Because games like Cyberpunk, No Man's Sky, New World, the players of those games have experienced the worst versions of those games, and those reviews and those experiences, they carry on. They don't just disappear, they really stick for a while. I haven't played Cyberpunk before, nor have I really seen any content for it, but I believe that people are saying that Cyberpunk has gotten a lot better now. And same thing for No Man's Sky and New World, that the games are actually in a better state than they were at launch. And so with Fangs, I really wanted to highlight and emphasize that this game has a lot of potential that I'm seeing and I really want it to do well. But once you put the game out for the public and early access, you only have one chance and you have to make it count. If the game is buggy or there's a lot of lag and stuff like that, it's going to reach a lot of people and it's going to create a lot of negative experiences that can hinder and or reduce newer players from coming into the game. It kind of drives them away. And I understand it's early access. There's going to be a lot of bugs. There's going to be a lot of optimization issues and probably server lag and bottlenecking. But what I'm trying to get at here is that those things are inevitable for early access, but I feel like with all the bugs, the server issues, optimization issues, it can be neglected if the gameplay is fun, right? If the gameplay is really solid and fun, most people would play the game still, even with its flaws. I mean, Let's take a look at older games, ones that weren't live service. So I don't know what game to choose, but just think of one in your head that has a lot of bugs, but is a lot of fun. A game can still be fun, even with its flaws. I haven't played any of the alpha test for Fangs. And I've seen some comments on Fangs on the Battle Right subreddit. And honestly, I I can't really formulate an educated opinion on the gameplay of Fangs. So I don't know what to expect. But I will say that I used to care a lot about newly released games and hoping that this is the one game that I'm going to be playing for a while and I have super high expectations for it and then I actually play the game and I'm like, wow, that was disappointing. I, uh, I put too much hope into the game and so with Fangs, I'm hiding. Okay, well, not hiding. That's a weird term for it, but I'm tempering my expectations. And I'm going in being like, well, if the game is fun, it's fun. If it's not, cool. We have a lot of other games to play. But if I'm going to be honest with myself, I really do hope that the gameplay loop is fun for both the casual and competitive players. Because going towards one side or the other, it doesn't allow for a lot of versatility. So again, Let's take an example, right? Battle Right. It's a great game. It's fun. 
but it really only caters towards the hardcore competitive players. There's not a lot of things that a casual player can really do in Battle Riot. Because the game itself, the core of Battle Riot, is very competitive in nature. But I think that'll be it for me. Just to sum up everything. I'm tempering my expectations for Fangs. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. We'll see when early access hits. This first impression. It's going to be a lot of first timers for Fangs. Because I've never played the game before. So I'm sure there's a lot of people as well that has never tried out the alpha test. And they're going to make their own assumptions based off their experience their personal experience on the game and whether or not it's a good or a bad review it's all up to the game itself is the gameplay good enough to forgive the early bugs server issues and optimization issues or does these issues just overall make the gameplay experience worse and on top of that, the gameplay loop is not even that fun either. Only time will tell. And with that being said, thank you everyone so much for watching the video if you got this far. I hope everyone here has a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at, and until next time. Bye.